All right, I am going to walk you through how to do soft tissue work on the upper pecs. So to work on the upper pecs, we're not going to use a foam roller just because the surface area we're going to try to get is going to be up here in the pec minor, which is just high up near the clavicle. This is the area that tends to get really tight that affects posture the most. So there's the big meaty part of the pec, the pec major that sits over top of the rib cage. We, we're not gonna spend a ton of time on that. We're gonna actually come up and spend some time around the clavicle. So we're gonna use a lacrosse ball just because the size of the lacrosse ball more matches the size of the muscle tissue itself. Trying to do this on a foam roller is pretty cumbersome because the foam rollers are usually like six inches thick and this is just not gonna give you enough contact to really get anywhere. So I'm using a lacrosse ball. We're gonna find a wall. The other thing I'm gonna recommend is to use something like this. This is a yoga block. So I would recommend this for two reasons. One, if you don't use it, if you have a fairly fragile drywall, you may potentially put the ball clean through the wall. Uh, and if you're just trying to come straight up against a wall, you might not feel like you have enough room to kind of manu to maneuver around. So by using this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it over. You can actually see where someone did this without actually using one of these. And this is what we're trying to avoid. So I'm gonna put, the block at roughly chest height. And then I'm gonna take the ball, and there's a couple things that we can do here, but just the basic concept is I wanna get this right into the upper pec, being very careful not to push this up into your actual collarbone. So just feel around, find where the muscle is. It's gonna start right to the inside of the breastbone, and it's gonna come all the way out just into the front of the shoulder so it attaches into the arm. So it's gonna feed all the way through here. So the basic concept, start on the inside, get the ball just right up against the block. And then what I like to do is just take my arm, bring it behind my back, sort of like I'm being handcuffed. You can support it with the other arm if you want to. But all to start, we're just gonna get some pressure and just take really deep breaths, maybe four or five breaths. Every time you find a spot, where the tension is, is pretty significant, we're just gonna hold the pressure. Think of just like when you get a deep tissue massage, when you're doing soft tissue stuff, you don't wanna move too quickly. The whole idea is to get that muscle tone to kinda of calm down, so that needs time. The breathing will help with promoting relaxation, which will get that tissue again to kinda of drop. So I'm just gonna move from the inside to the outside. So it actually probably work a little bit better if I turn this so it's the long way, just so it gives me more runway to kind of turn with my pack. So as I'm going, so again, starting on the inside and just progressively moving. And as I roll this way, I'm going a little faster than I would normally recommend, but I just want to kind of see how this works. So I, you know, every time I find a spot, dig into it, just push my chest into it, take some deep breaths. Now that's your basic thing that you can do there's another technique called a pin and stretch that we can use too. This is basically finding the spots where the tension is fairly high and then actually creating motion to lengthen out the muscle itself. There's so to do this, I'm gonna bring my arm out here. Same idea, I'm finding my contact point. And now instead of just thinking about lifting the trap up and down, I'm actually just gonna push my hand up the wall into that contact point. I'm kind of pushing up and away, almost at like a 45 degree angle. So it's not perfectly up toward this guy. While you're doing this, you can use the other hand to hold the ball in place if you want. And drive pressure in and just slide the hand up and out. And I would do this for reps, you know, maybe five or six reps total, one or two reps in all of your really tight areas. Now I walk through that on one side, obviously you would do the other side, but I'm not gonna run through it on video. Uh, but give this a try. You know, if you have questions, make sure you post them in the comments. If you like this sort of stuff, make sure you like the video and then subscribe to our channel and you'll get more of this.